gotta get out of here, understand? And I'll kill anyone who gets in my way, you included. Wow, uh, with that said, welcome back to my Cyberpunk 2077 walkthrough. This is part 8, and um, yeah, you guys are probably wondering how the hell we are seeing Johnny Silverhand. And that is because we have a pretty much his mind inside of our skull um, due to a chip that we inserted, I believe it was in... Well, two episodes ago, something like that. So yeah, he is pretty much trying to, you know, take over our body. Fucking ghost off! Yeah, this could become really interesting. Oh damn, dude! Really? Who you work for? Start talking. Fuck. So yeah, Johnny Silverhand has been dead for at least 50 years, something like that. Fucking chip. Rip the thing out my so it's kind of like no we, way. yeah, they removed his mind, well, the Arasaka family removed his mind from his body uh. into a chip, and that's how we now, well, that was that relic, you know, we stole from that heist. So yeah, um, that's pretty much it. Oh my god, he's trying to take control. You hear me? Damn, bro. See you never, asshole. Now like that, stick some iron in your mouth and pull the trigger. <laughs> I can feel it. Our minds touch on you. I'm like I'm mold like on fruit creeping, creeping into you. Nothing I can do about it. Come on, you hear we me? can do it. I'd puke if I fucking could. It's just a copy of So these paper. pills are supposed to, you know, um, suppress. Johnny completely for a time. Get out, just get the fuck out. Um Come on, man. A bullet to the fucking brain. fuck me. It's only temporary, but it's better than nothing. Oh, Act 2. That's nice. Alright. Um, so if you guys are interested in seeing, you know, how we got to this point, or perhaps watching the introduction to Johnny Silverhand, I highly suggest that you guys check out the previous episode. And, or perhaps from the beginning of this series, you know. I'll leave a link down in the description. Full playlist. So yeah, check it out. So let's see. Um, we need to put on some clothes. Fix our stat. You know what? Give me two seconds and I'll be right back. Alright, here we go. Uh, we have equipped our weapons, our clothes. And now we just need to stack up on ammo and find something to eat. Let's see. Yeah, here we go. Something to eat and check your email. Alright, so uh, by the way, um, we did learn that... V doesn't have that much left to live because of Johnny. You know, since he is trying to take over, you know, his mind and body. Um, it's only a due, you know, due time till he actually succeeds if we don't stop this nonsense once and for all, you know, by remo removing the chip somehow. 
And you can't just pull out the chip that would, you know, kill them both, pretty much. So, yeah. Um, if I understand, understood it correctly. They did mention it in the previous episode. Um, yeah, I don't know. Let's see. There's a burrito. There we go. Nice. All right. Takemura. Takemura here. Oh. We must meet. Come to Thomas Diner. Hmm. Why would I do that? Because I am the one who saved your life. I haven't managed to get my head straight yet. Not after everything that happened. Huh. Will not happen anytime soon. And so what? If you intend to leave, you must re-enter the ring. The bell has already told. Alright, I guess we'll meet up with Takemura and see uh, what he wants. He did save our life, that's true, um, in the previous episode. Yeah, let's go to Tom's diner and... Uh, See what he has to say. Let's go. Maybe he knows someone who can actually help us out with this, you know, Johnny problem. Alright, entrance. New job. What? Okay. We do have multiple new jobs. Interesting. Let me just change back the quest. I'm not sure why it ch changed to that. Beats on the brat Arroyo. Yeah, we're not gonna do that. Not now, at least. Let's go and speak to Takamura. Let me just change the quest real quick. Alright, there we go. Um, yeah, Takamura. He isn't that far away, that's good. can pretty much just walk there. Well, run there. Yeah, don't need a vehicle, that's good. There it is. Perfect. By the way, make sure to leave a like, comment and subscribe. Turn on those notifications by hitting that bell icon so that you don't miss any of my Cyberpunk 2077 episodes. The story so far has been really interesting in my opinion. Sit. Let's see what Takemura has to say. You do not look so bad. Then, in the car, I doubted you would survive. Why'd you help me anyway? I needed you to leave. That hasn't changed. This about the biochip? That why I'm here? Hmm. I hear it's damaged beyond the repair. Any attempt to extract, it would be disastrous. Fatal for you. Vic likes to talk, I guess. Not many could do what he did. You should be thankful. What's it you actually want from me? To begin, you must tell me where to find Evelyn Parker. Evelyn? What's she to you? She and the Yorino Barasaka had intimate relations. She knows how to get to him. You thinking I ought to have a word with her myself? She promised to help me get rid of the chip. I would not count on that. She's likely gone very far away. Why you figure she skipped town? I tried to locate her, but had no success. I suspect she covered her tracks. You said Parker could help you remove the relic. Does she work for a corporation? You ask a lot of questions. You have many interesting things to say. Might be your turn now to say something interesting. I intend to punish Yorinobu Arasaka severely for the crime he has committed.
Sorry I couldn't be of any help. Don't have any time to lose, so... Hey, wait. I need you. Yorinobu Arasaka must answer for this crime of patricide. <laughs> Looking for justice in Night City. I seek revenge. Much more feasible here. I have allies prepared to bring Yorinobu to his knees. The only thing I need is proof. And you think they'll trust the word of a merc? I have nothing better now. Also, I know no one here. And I am a fugitive. I am hunted. What if I say no? Then I will tell you what rewards await if you help me. So what? We stroll into Arasaka HQ and announce that Yorinobu's a kin killer? That he murdered Saburo? We'll get the hearing before reasonable people in a neutral location. Certain procedures will be used to establish the truth. A lie detector? Forget it. In that case, another option. You are dying. You do not know how to save yourself. A chip, the relic, is a culprit. Technology made by Arasaka. Technology they alone know. This corporation can save you as easily as it can make you disappear. It is merely about getting the right people on your side. Politics. Exactly what kind of people are we talking about? People who hold Arasaka dear are its heart. People interested in the corporation's stable growth. You mean people like Anders Hellman? You know this name? How? Prepped for the heist. Thoroughly. Relic is Hellman's design, his creation. Untrue. He's a pawn. I was thinking of one much more powerful. Besides, Anders Hellman escaped to Arasaka. Betrayed it. Then in 1996, after the collapse of the United States, it rose to number two in the rankings. Now, Hanako-sama, I would first like to ask you... Fucking Saka scums everywhere. Hey, I was listening to that. Shut up. Nobody except you wants to watch that shit about that corpo cunt. What did you say? You heard me. Let it go, Takamura. At least one of you's got some fucking sense. Last thing we want to do is to draw attention. I'm sorry. A stupid reflex. Thanks for the offer. Need to think about it. Get back to you. I need time to plan. Organize. You stand to gain much if you help me. All I ask is that you do not leave the city. Leave? Why would I leave? Need help. Best chance I'll find the right person here. Someone other than Arasaka specialist? There's no one. No alternative. Actually, we just talked about some. Bit of luck, I'll track down Evelyn. If she could not help you before, she will not manage to now. Honor Among Thieves. Ever heard of it? Yes, I thought it ironic. Thieves have none. There's just honor, I believe. Your noble Arasaka would agree, I'm sure. The Parker woman will not help you. Why are you? I would think about a plan B. Anders Hellman. He invented the relic. If I want to get rid of it, he's my man. And if that means picking another fight with Arasaka, so be it. Hellman defected from the company. I myself spent many days looking for him. He... What's the expression? 
dropped off the face of the earth. Somebody's been busy the last few days. I will not sit and do nothing when there is information to be found, things to prepare. Your job, basically. It was my job. Why are you looking for Hellman? He was the one to alert Saburo-san to Yorinobu's schemes. He knew both of them well and could be an important witness. Corporal rats will squeal when hanging by their tails. For several days, I collected the information. All leads point to one place, the club called the Afterlife. I was quickly dismissed by the Queen of Fixers there, Rogue. Take you for a suit? No. She saw me as Saburo Sama's killer. Rogue's well informed. Gets wind of most things that happen in the city. Might be worth asking her about Hellman. I wish you luck. The old man is choosy, expensive, and rude. I cannot stay here any longer. Do what you want. Look for Parker, Hellman, whoever. I must see some friends, call in some favors. When my people in Arasaka are ready to listen, I will call you. Till then, I guess. If by some miracle you find Hellman, please notify me. He and I have unfinished business. Hmm, I'm not really sure if we can trust him, to be honest. Oh, Johnny, 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 they're back. In some ways, Night City never changes. Arasaka's still a despotic machine and the world's on a collision course with chaos. But hey, at least Rogue's still alive. You know, you got some nerve. First you had to kill me, now you want to be my pal. Make like nothing happened. You know you don't gotta speak out loud to talk to me. What do you want? And I've processed some shit, changed my mind. Don't want you dead anymore. Go fuck yourself, dickwipe. Hey, wasn't easy for me either. You woke up in a landfill, I woke up in your head. Wrestling with your thoughts, memories. Think we're even. And I've taken a step back, looked at things. Think we might be able to help each other. We could start with Rogue. Her and I go back to the Stone Age. You're the ghost of Chris's past, asshole. Any friends you had are either dead or so old their memory's gone. Johnny Silverhand died a legend. Nobody forgets that. So you fucking know Rogue. What do I say to her? Got a talking brain tumor claims it's her old friend Johnny? Trust me, Rogue's heard dumber shit than that. Way back when you weren't even an itch in your daddy's ball sack. Don't need convincing. Seeing your memories, gross. Rogel danced any tune I play, or just get us to the afterlife. There is no us. Alright, you know what? We'll end it here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think. And yeah, we'll continue from here in the next episode, alright? Take care. Peace. Bye.